This is the Key English Test, Paper 2. Listening. Test number 2. There are five parts to the test. Parts 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. We will now stop for a moment before we start the test. Please ask any questions now because you mustn't speak during the test. Look at the instructions for part one. You will hear five short conversations. You will hear each conversation twice. There is one question for each conversation. For questions one to five, put a tick under the right answer. Here is an example. How many people were at the meeting? Were there many people at the meeting? About 30. That's not many. No, but more than last time. The answer is 30, so there is a tick in box C. Now we are ready to start. Look at question 1. One. What colour is Cathy's bedroom now? Come and look at my bedroom. I've painted it. What colour this time, Cathy? Green? I decided to paint it blue. Oh, well, that's nicer than before. I hated those pink walls. Now listen again. Come and look at my bedroom. I've painted it. What colour this time, Cathy? Green? I decided to paint it blue. Oh, well, that's nicer than before. I hated those pink walls. Two. Which platform does the woman's train leave from? Which is the platform for the train to London? The fast train leaves from platform six at seven o'clock. I want to go to Rugby. Does it stop there? You need the slow train from platform 2 at 7.10. Now listen again. Which is the platform for the train to London? The fast train leaves from platform 6 at 7 o'clock. I want to go to Rugby. Does it stop there? You need the slow train from platform 2 at 7.10. 3. How is Susan going to get to the airport? How are you going to go to the airport on Tuesday, Susan? I'm going to take the coach. I can get off just outside the airport. A <laughs> taxi is too expensive. There's a train you can get. It's very fast. That's only at the weekends. Now listen again. How are you going to go to the airport on Tuesday, Susan? I'm going to take the coach. I can get off just outside the airport. A <laughs> taxi is too expensive. There's a train you can get. It's very fast. That's only at the weekends. Four. Which is Anna's family? Tell me about your family, Anna. Well... My father's tall, with dark hair, and my mother's the opposite. She's shorter and blonde. Then there's my brother. Is he older than you? He's five years younger. Now listen again. Tell me about your family, Anna. Well, my father's tall, with dark hair, and my mother's the opposite. She's shorter and blonde. Then there's my brother. Is he older than you? He's five years younger. Five. When is Kim's birthday party? Are you going to go to Kim's birthday party? She'll be 16 in June. Oh, yes. It's on the 11th, isn't it? That's right. It'll be quite a big party, 
About thirty people, I think. OK. I'll see you there. Now listen again. Are you going to go to Kim's birthday party? She'll be 16 in June. Oh, yes. It's on the 11th, isn't it? That's right. It'll be quite a big party, about 30 people, I think. OK. I'll see you there. This is the end of part one. Now look at part two. Listen to Rose talking to Steve about her day. What is Rose going to do at each time? For questions 6 to 10, write a letter A to H next to each time. You will hear the conversation twice. Hi, Rose. Can you help me with my English homework? Uh, no, Steve. I'm very busy this morning. At nine o'clock, I'm going to see the doctor. Well, what are you going to do after that? I go swimming every day now, just for one hour, so I'm going to do that at ten. Well, can I meet you at eleven? Sorry, I've got to see my maths teacher then. And then I suppose you'll go to the library to study? Not today. At twelve, I must meet Bill. I need to talk to him. So I'll see you at lunchtime, at one o'clock. I'm going to have lunch with Joe then, but you can come too. No thanks. I'll see you afterwards. Well, I have an art class at two, but I can help you after that. OK. I'll see you at three then. Now listen again. Hi, Rose. Can you help me with my English homework? Uh, no, Steve. I'm very busy this morning. At nine o'clock, I'm going to see the doctor. Well, what are you going to do after that? I go swimming every day now, just for one hour, so I'm going to do that at ten. Well, can I meet you at eleven? Sorry. I've got to see my maths teacher then. And then I suppose you'll go to the library to study? Not today. At twelve, I must meet Bill. I need to talk to him. So I'll see you at lunchtime, at one o'clock. I'm going to have lunch with Joe then, but you can come too. No thanks. I'll see you afterwards. Well, I have an art class at two, but I can help you after that. OK. I'll see you at three then. This is the end of part two. Now look at part three. Listen to Peter talking to a friend about learning to drive. For questions 11 to 15, tick A, B or C. You will hear the conversation twice. Look at questions 11 to 15 now. You have 20 seconds. Now listen to the conversation. Peter, you're learning to drive, aren't you? Do you go to the AA driving school? Actually, it's called the ABC driving school. Is it expensive? I want to learn to drive. It's cost me £140 already. I've had ten lessons, and each one is £14. Is that for an hour? Um, less than that. About three quarters of an hour. I see. And is the teacher's car new? Yes, and it's not a big car, so parking's easy. But it doesn't go very fast. When are you going to take your driving test? I failed it last week. <laughs> the traffic lights were red, but I didn't see them, and I couldn't brake in time. Oh, never mind. You can take the test again. 
Tell me about your teacher. Is he friendly? He's okay. He's quite young and interesting to talk to. But my father will give me my next lessons. He's cheaper. <laughs> well, good luck. Now listen again. Peter, you're learning to drive, aren't you? Do you go to the AA driving school? Actually, it's called the ABC driving school. Is it expensive? I want to learn to drive. It's cost me £140 already. I've had ten lessons, and each one is £14. Is that for an hour? Um, less than that. About three quarters of an hour. I see. And is the teacher's car new? Yes, and it's not a big car, so parking's easy. But it doesn't go very fast. When are you going to take your driving test? I failed it last week. The traffic lights were red, but I didn't see them, and I couldn't brake in time. Oh, never mind. You can take the test again. Tell me about your teacher. Is he friendly? He's OK. He's quite young and interesting to talk to. But my father will give me my next lessons. He's cheaper. <laughs> well, good luck. This is the end of part three. Now look at part four. You will hear a man asking about theatre tickets. Listen and complete questions 16 to 20. You will hear the conversation twice. Playhouse Theatre, can I help you? Yes, I'd like some information about the plays that are on next week, please. Certainly. We have two plays next week. The White Room is on at 7.30 every evening. Then, in the afternoons, we have a play by a new young writer. The name of that is The School Bus. That's at 3 o'clock. The School Bus? Yes, it's a play for children. Hmm. And... How much are tickets? Well, tickets for seats upstairs cost £15, and those for downstairs are £12.50. Are the prices the same for all performances? No. All tickets are £6 on Mondays, but you'll have to buy them soon if you want some of those. OK. And one more thing. Is there a car park near the theatre? Yes, in Stewart Street. Can you spell that, please? Certainly. It's S-T-U-A-R-T. It's just behind the theatre. Thank you for your help. OK. Goodbye. Now listen again. Playhouse Theatre, can I help you? Yes. I'd like some information about the plays that are on next week, please. Certainly. We have two plays next week. The White Room is on at 7.30 every evening. Then, in the afternoons, we have a play by a new young writer. The name of that is The School Bus. That's at 3 o'clock. The School Bus? Yes, it's a play for children. Hmm. And how much are tickets? Well, tickets for seats upstairs cost £15. And those for downstairs are £12.50. Are the prices the same for all performances? No. All tickets are £6 on Mondays. But you'll have to buy them soon if you want some of those. OK. And one more thing. Is there a car park near the theatre? Yes, in Stewart Street. Can you spell that, please? Certainly. It's S-T-U-A-R-T. It's just behind the theatre. Thank you for your help. OK. Goodbye. This is the end of part four. Now look at part five.
you will hear some information about a health centre. Listen and complete questions 21 to 25. You will hear the information twice. This is the Mill House Health Centre. The health centre is closed until 8 o'clock tomorrow morning. But here is some important information. To make an appointment with one of the doctors, you can phone us tomorrow. The number is 793-220. The health centre is always very busy early in the morning, so please do not phone before 8.30. If you want to get medicine, Padley's Chemist Shop, that's P-A-D-L-E-Y-S, is open until 10 p.m. every evening this week, including Sundays. Take the 77 bus to the High Street. The stop is right outside the shop. If you need to see a doctor now, please go to the Accident Department at University Hospital. They're open 24 hours a day for accidents and emergencies. Thank you for calling the Millhouse Health Centre this evening. Our doctors and nurses will be pleased to answer any more of your questions tomorrow. Now listen again. This is the Millhouse Health Centre. The health centre is closed until 8 o'clock tomorrow morning. But here is some important information. To make an appointment with one of the doctors, you can phone us tomorrow. The number is 793-220. The health centre is always very busy early in the morning, so please do not phone before 8.30. If you want to get medicine, Padley's Chemist Shop, that's P-A-D-L-E-Y-S, is open until 10pm every evening this week including Sundays. Take the 77 bus to the High Street. The stop is right outside the shop. If you need to see a doctor now, please go to the Accident Department at University Hospital. They're open 24 hours a day for accidents and emergencies. Thank you for calling the Millhouse Health Centre this evening. Our doctors and nurses will be pleased to answer any more of your questions tomorrow. This is the end of part five. You now have eight minutes to write your answers on the answer sheet.